Rome Total War has always had a very set way of making money. Taxes, trade and farming are generally the way that you're going to make most of your money in the game or playing a mod like RAS. But what if there was a different way? What if there was a way we could make an absolute shit ton of money without having to worry about all that boring faction management stuff? Well, today we're going to explore it. We're going to see, can we take a tiny desert poor nation to the heights of one of the richest factions in the game by using a very special tactic so stay tuned to find out guys make sure you do like this video if we can get to a hundred likes on this video we might do this with another faction as well we are going to play on very hard very hard extreme mode so um yeah this might make it a little bit more difficult but uh let's find out and that graphic is how we're going to make our money guys today <laughs> that is perfect so here we are as Nabatea, guys. We're losing 3,000 gold. We've got a whole three provinces. And we don't really have much going for us. Our provinces are terrible. Petra is a town. Eboda is a town. And Elana is a town as well. So really, really not in a good situation. We're out here in the desert where the uh, farming level is low, of course. We do have a bit of trade resources, but the farming is pretty bad. So, how are we going to make money? Well, um, let's have a look, shall we? Well, the first part of our plan revolves around our glorious Nebeatean army. When I say glorious, they're absolutely terrible. But um, if we can get some mercenaries, we will do because we're going to need them, guys. We're going to need a lot of troops for this tactic to work. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at those juicy, juicy settlements out there in the Ptolemaic land. Very nice indeed. All of those settlements have plenty of buildings. They have plenty of population. And they have plenty of money for us to plunder. So, let's see. Can we do it? Can we make a load of money by doing this tactic let's see how high we can catapult ourselves up the rankings let's go well first thing first guys let's uh smash that extreme mode on as well and i don't know whether i showed you this before but we are definitely um on very hard very hard just so you can see so this is going to be a little bit difficult i'm going to get the toggle fog of war back off now as well and we are going to start marching through the camels towards our closest target i think we might go for jerusalem first but um yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see whichever is the best target for us we'll go for are there mercenaries here now though no there are not so um yeah we're just gonna have to pop our tax rates up for a couple of turns until we've you know taken some well-earned gold now, I know this station isn't remastered, guys, but it is really, really bad. So that's why I wanted to show you it with this. And it's also next to, you know, a large population area with a lot of population in there ready to go. So that's why I wanted to show you this one. If we do meet the light goal, we'll do it with one that is remastered as well. Well, if there wasn't another reason to rely on mercenaries, um, unfortunately, we have no recruitment capability, guys. Like, zero. Genuinely zero <laughs> oh that's gonna hurt now although of course this is a challenge video we are of course going to take some money from some other methods as well i'm not just gonna sit on my laurels we're gonna try and make these three settlements the greatest settlements the world has ever seen or ever will see bastions of civilization my friends bastions of civilization <laughs> first turn and we already have rioting and somehow we're making some money now i, I don't know how but um yeah plus 500 I, I think that's from the empire mechanic but uh i could be wrong now what we're gonna do here guys is gonna be called a very very risky tactic we they only take three men to start with to hebron they are our ally but who cares about that we kind of need double the amount of troops to uh to actually get a ram in one turn that is all we need and then we're going to have to take these guys. And I think we're going to go for the other settlement that only has one person in. And it is that one. And unfortunately, it's not a general. So um, 
that is very good for us. And we're basically just going to siege these down, see what we can do, see the buildings we can destroy. If you really want to speed this up, guys, then you should spy spam if you can. Obviously, with Nabatea, we can't recruit any spies at the moment. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we can't spy spam. We are moving our spy up, though. So that should help. Let's see if the Ptolemies attack us. Probably not. So no signs of a Ptolemaic army apart from this one. Are there any mercenaries available? No, it'll take a few turns for the pools to recover. So let's get into the battles there. That one should be a nice and easy one. We only lost 18 men. We are going to enslave initially. I know it's not the best for money, but it will be nice to get some population exactly, for example, in Ilana over there. We're going to have a look at Hebron and... Unfortunately, Hebron is pretty poor. Pretty poor. Pretty poor. Not much going on there. But trust me, there's going to be plenty more uh, down the line. We're then going to stick this onto very high and let it rebel. And we're going to go after this one. Just going to press the auto resolve, guys. Don't even need to play these battles <laughs> at the moment. And at Azotos, we are going to exterminate. And we're going to destroy everything that we can. Again, a nice bit of cash. So uh, let's move on to some bigger cities. So we have Jerusalem, and then we have Ascalon, all that sort of thing. Wondering, can you get into there? You do have three, so you are a success. Let's see if we can um, get in there now. Okay, weren't able to open the gates, but there we go. Straight on to Jerusalem, and Jerusalem does have some nice buildings to destroy. So yeah, that is what we're going to do, guys. We're just going to go around... Killing everything in our sight. <laughs> Destroying all the buildings we can, apart from in our glorious, glorious homeland over here, which we actually now have money to build buildings when we started on minus 3,000. So it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. <laughs> and one thing I didn't even know about the Nabataeans, guys, is look at this. We can get all such. <laughs> yes, we can. They have a pretty big roster, honestly. Uh, lots of different uh, sort of units in here. But yeah, we can get Nebeate and Horse Archers with the first level stables. Ptolemies, 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 Ptolemies. I am sorry for what I'm about to do to you, my friends. <laughs> On to the Siege of Jerusalem, guys. I mean, trash army. But again, it shouldn't be too difficult. But uh, I guess let's, let's find out, shall we? <laughs> Well, the only issue doing this as Nebeatea, guys, is that you start with just an absolute, absolute dog shit army. I mean, the best unit, apart from the general we have in here, the Arab Warriors, look at that. They've got 18 defense. Yeah. That's, that's not good. That's, that's, that's really not good. <laughs> well, we're going to have to rely on our general a lot here, I will say. A lot. Um, but yeah. Let's see what we can do about these boys. Here comes their general. Oh, he's going the back way. That's fine by me, honestly. If he wants to do that. Because we have a bigger general's bodyguard. And we're about even in terms of power. But we just have more. So um, we should be good. Get your charge off, guys. What is that? What the fuck is that? That is not a charge, my friends. That is, that is the opposite of a charge. Well, here come Greek Peltas. He's going to leave the Thuriophore on there, is he? Well, if he's going to do that, let's uh, stop our guys from um, firing their missiles for now. Have we even killed any of their general's bodyguard? Okay, we have. That's okay then, but god damn, that was crap. That was absolutely crap. All right, well, now we've got to try and get these Thuriophore off the town square. Easier said than done a lot of the time, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, let's try and fire at them. Go on, guys. Fire. Not into the tree. Into them. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on. Bloody fire. What are they doing? Come on. You can do it, my friends. <laughs> you can do it. Look at that. Killed a couple of them. Very nice. It's mad how much you need to worry about a, a unit of 56 304 <laughs> when you start with an army like this. <laughs> God damn it. They, get, they have routed now. Oh, come on, guys. Wait, why are you facing the wrong way? Fire! Surely they're going to come now. There we go. Look at that. I think we can just break them after this, honestly, with our cavalry. Or with our men. Let's go. We're just going to kill them. God damn it. That was, that was so annoying. 
God damn. Well, there we go. We squished them. We did lose a few men, but <laughs> what can you do with such terrible tools? Well then, Jerusalem, it is time to give me your population for now. Some of it, unfortunately, will go to these two regions, but um, I forgot to put you on very high as well. But uh, there's plenty we can destroy in here. I I'm very, I'm very sorry about this, guys. Wait, there's only 266 for that, but this 3,000. Practice range, a thousand. Then we have the city barracks, 1,500. There we go. Very nice indeed. I wonder where the next best place is. We just want places with a lot of buildings. So if I can bring my spy out and have a look around. That's got some good ones. Maybe less so you. Just want to try and find places with a, with a lot of buildings, which some of these places don't. I think Samaria is going to be... The next one. We've just got to remember which ones we have raided and which ones we haven't. Of course, we're going to stick that on to very high. Any mercenaries? No. Still no mercenaries. Still no mercenaries. That is a shame, my friends, isn't it? And that has made sure that we have expanded. Very nice. That is fantastic. Well, this is the problem. You can see there is an army there. <laughs> oh, wait. What the, what the hell happened? Why? Look at that army. Why did that army not come in? <laughs> yes. I, I, I'm celebrating a glitch, but... I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Ptolemies. Bad luck, my friends. <laughs> well, here we go, guys. They have engaged us with their uh, silliness. I think they they just think they can win just by themselves without even, um, you know, okay, they've got into the Arab Warriors. That's a bit annoying. I hate it when they do that. They just push through. Because look at our guys. Like, they can't push through. They're just dumb. Uh, you guys are going to surround them. We're going to be chucking javelins into them, hopefully. I would like you to do that, guys. It would be nice. We'll try and get our general round two. You guys are going to be chucking javelins. Hopefully, you chuck them all. Here we go. Let's go. Why are you not chucking javelins, guys? Like, why are you not chucking javelins, man? These guys should. Hopefully, they don't charge afterwards, though. No, no, no. You're just going to fire javelins. Just going to fire javelins. Apparently, they don't want to do that. You guys are also just going to fire javelins. But yeah, no. Uh, this is going to be a little bit annoying. But obviously, with the amount of javelins we can throw into them, I think we're going to be okay. You guys just need to calm down. I want you firing goddamn javelins, not charging in, man. Come on, bro. These guys are better because they, they fire their javelins and don't charge in. They're doing a good job. <laughs> well, there goes the uh, the Greek hoplites already. Did not expect them to break so quickly. You guys should fight them. Just kill them all. You guys need to now fire into the uh, Machoroi Foroi. And we do need to take the city. So we've got to remember that. There you go. There they go. There they go. Nope. We're going to continue because we need to take the city. So we're going to get all our cavalry inside and take the city. Very nice. Well, there we go, guys. Nice easy. We still lost 100 men. I mean, we do need some mercenaries pretty quickly if there are any available. Um, but yeah, I think it takes a few turns before they come in, like three or four turns. So, oh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. <laughs> And for this one, we'll take the money. Let's exterminate. Very nice. Well, another commander, and we've got up to minor power. And for some reason, nowhere has rebelled yet. I don't know why these places have not gone back to the Ptolemies. But um, honestly, I could keep them like 25% with a general in. I could take some of these generals and just put them in there. It's not really ideal, though. But let's uh, make sure we take our money, shall we, once again, <laughs> <laughs> very nice very nice here we go some extra money we're now up to 13,000 we're making 5,000 a turn how many more settlements before we become the richest uh, richest nation I guess we'll find out just a bit annoying that they are training men in these uh, in these places how many buildings do you have you have a port so ports are always worth a bit but um yeah want to find the ones with all of the buildings well, I've set our eyes on our new targets, guys. Tyre and Sidon are both minor cities with a lot of buildings. So, um, yeah, if we can open the gates, that would be amazing. Not sure we can. We can't even reach there, unfortunately. Oh, come on, man. 
And uh, we can't get any mercenaries still. I'm hoping next turn we get mercenaries because otherwise we are a bit screwed. I have got a militia barracks here now. But um, yeah, the Arab warriors, it's not even really worth trading any more of those. I'm not going to lie. Well, I actually managed to get there with, uh, with Zeddy over here, our new general. Um, and he has seized it down. So that's going to maybe slow things up. It'll stop them recruiting at least. That's that's the main thing really there, isn't it? Um, and that one is just two generals and a Thurio Foroy again. Oh, please though, I, I, need, I need some mercenaries, man. Please. Well, finally, these two settlements have rebelled now. And they haven't gone back to the Ptolemies. <laughs> Yes, come on guys. That is very good news for us. That means that most of this land is not going to go back to the Ptolemies. 16,000 gold now, my boys. 16,000. And he's opened the gates for us. Come on, my boy. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Let's burn some buildings down. Yes. Well, we got shot by the towers a little bit. Probably should have... Uh, Taking the towers slightly earlier. But if these guys hurried up, like, what are they doing, man? Like, will you go? They're just fucking milling around. Get up there, you idiots. Absolute imbeciles, honestly. So dumb, bro. So dumb. We lost so many men there. I mean, it's also very dumb of me, to be fair. I'm not, I'm, I'll admit it. It was dumb of me as well. But, um... How are these fuckers get, still getting shot, man? Come on, bro. Well, as usual, we're going to try and bait them off the town square because they are just standing there at the minute. I don't think we can just kill that Thurio Foroy outright. Uh, go, 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 go. Guys, go. Well, okay, that allows us to kill the general at least. There we go. <laughs> nice. That's what we like to see, guys. That's what we like to see. <laughs> well, here we go. Now we're trying to get the uh, Thurio Foroy off the town square. Very nice. Let's make sure that we do hold them. I'm also going to charge my generals into the side. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. This should be uh, should be fairly easy. In fact, no, we're going to try. Oh, no. We're going to try and squeeze past them, shall we? It's going to be quite difficult to do that, but uh, hopefully they will do. Squeeze. Come on, men. Squeeze. 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 Some of the 304, for God's sake, just stop doing that. I hate it when they do that. It's so fucking annoying, man. But like, they just disengage so easily. Like, if you try and... Okay, we fucking broke them anyway. But if you try and disengage your troops, they get slaughtered. They try and disengage them. Fucking nothing happens, bro. But anyway, I'm in a mood for burning some buildings down. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Another city. Another city. It's going to be shitty after this... Vic Winnie victory. And I think because everything is already growing, let's uh, exterminate. That's going to get us an extra bit of cash. Oh, look at all these lovely buildings. Oh, yes. Come on. This is so good. Money, money, money. We've got nothing to spend the money on. That is the issue. I mean, what's the point of having the money if you've got nothing to spend it on? But Hey, it's it's fun. <laughs> oh, and finally, there are mercenaries. So, let's have a look around for some more mercenaries. Apparently, it's just these guys in this pool. Which is not great, really. Uh, let's see if this guy... If there's any sort of towards Jerusalem. No, it's the same thing again. Well, let's go for Sidon. That should be nice and easy. There we go. Oh, wait. We should have got the, uh, the spy in there. So, uh, let's... Uh, Stop that for now. And uh, let's get the uh, the old spy in there. And of course, it's a success because he's quite a good spy, actually. He's been pretty good for us so far. <gasps> but we're going to make some money this turn, aren't we, guys? We're going to make some money. <laughs> Same thing again. Let's go. Well, here we go, guys. We do have some action. And that actually is bad action for us. Might have overextended somewhat. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll just keep our generals around this side anyway. I don't mind if all of those guys kind of die. Looks like the uh, Thurio Foray have come off the walls. They were on the walls for a little while, but oh dear. that That's not a good sight to see, I've got to say. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's get the rest of our men in. And uh, yeah, we're going to get these guys here if we can. And hopefully they're able to, you know, 
put the power down onto the enemy. Also, these two archers are going to be so invaluable now inside the city. So we're going to use them as much as possible. Well, funnily enough, he has overextended his general somewhat to try and chase down my men. So, um, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're going to come and have a, a little party with him, shall we? Damn, he escapes. He escapes. What a bastard. What a bastard. Well, here we go then. We have managed to bait them a little bit. There we go. Getting them in towards us now. What are you guys doing? Did I tell you to go there? Come on, guys. Honestly. Your pathing is horrible. Horrible, I tell you. So, yeah. We're just going to fire at the Thurio Foroy. And then, when the time is right, we shall get our general in to charge them and see if we can break them. So, let's go. There we go. Getting absolutely savaged by the javelins here. So, I wonder whether we can get a nice decent charge off of, on these guys. They don't know what they're doing at the moment. There we go. That is no orc horn, my friends. That is no orc horn. There we go. Instantly broken. We're going to take maybe a couple of javelins from these guys. No, we're actually not. We're actually not. Very good. You guys should be firing at the 304, right? That would be the better option because we can just kill the rest of the general pretty easily. There we go. Now general can come off. How are you dying? Oh no, they they decided to charge with their uh, with their guys. Oh, that was that was rather painful. That was rather painful. Luckily, none of our generals did die there. God damn, that was very painful indeed. Very painful indeed. Well, here they come. The last resistance, my friends. The last resistance. They have broken their own charge there as well. So we are going to chuck a load of javelins into them and hope that that will make us survive. We're also going to charge with our generals. Our very depleted generals, I must say. I want you guys firing at them. I don't know why you're running towards them. I, I never told you to do that, did I? But um, anyway, it's fine. How did that charge go? Pretty darn terribly, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Pretty badly. <laughs> Pretty badly. How is their general doing? He's nearly dead. He's nearly dead. Okay. Oh, God damn, guys. Disengage when I fucking tell you to. For fuck's sake. You idiots. Jeez. Oh, and now the general is somehow running rampant, like breaking all our men. It's pretty annoying. And we lost so many men because they didn't decide to disengage then. Look at that. They're all going to bloody... They're all going to bloody rout now. It's going to be a mass rout, which is going to be awful. See if we can break this Thurio Foroy. That would be at least one good thing to happen here. And then all we would need to do is just kill the general. We've broken the Thurio Foroy. God damn, man. Sometimes... Sometimes. <laughs> but that was a pretty painful battle, honestly. Look at that. 367 we lost. <sighs> Ooh. Hoo -hoo. We need more mercenaries. Please, mercenary pools. Replenish, for God's sake. <laughs> well, let's exterminate Sidon as well. And then, of course, <laughs> do the standard, you know. Ooh, they got a, they got a third tier archery range. Well, not, not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, resistance is futile, my friends. Resistance is futile. Well, I think we take Zeddy. Oh no, who's got some good movement? No one really has good movement. I think we take Zeddy around this way. Oh, damn it. <laughs> There's no mercenaries there either. How about you? Any mercenaries? <laughs> There's literally nothing. <laughs> and uh, we have like no troops left. Is there anywhere with just a single troop? There. There has a single troop. Let's uh, try and siege that down. That's our only option right now when we've got no troops. No mercenaries available. I think we might need to recruit some more troops. They're only AOR ones, though. <laughs> might have been worth holding on to some of the territory, you know. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. But yeah, no, that's two cities in a row, though. That's pretty nice. That is going to put us at bordering with the uh, Seleucid. So let's see if we can maybe ally these boys. The most okay, proposal. yeah, we, we can somehow. Uh, might even try... What if I sold them the territory? Oh, what an idea, man. Right, so let's just check the ones that we don't want to sell them. So we don't want to sell Ilana. We don't want to sell Eboda. So Ilana and Eboda are off the table. But everything else, so like Jerusalem, Samaria, Tyre, uh, Sidon, 
Apparently, it's very demanding. How is that very demanding? Even Very a gift? No. We must decline. They just don't want it. It's like, it's terrible territory, my friends. It's terrible territory. I'm sure you could make them happy. They're just unhappy because we're taxing them loads and we've destroyed everything. That's the only reason, guys. <laughs> I promise. Well, we also resolved the next one, guys, along because we're getting a little bit stuck, honestly. So... Uh, yeah, let's exterminate again, and we are going to take the money. I'm not going to destroy the port, though, because we're actually kind of hemmed in by this army that's over there. I might fort wall us off as well. Um, and I had a look at how we're doing versus some of the other factions. And, uh, yeah, compared to some of the other factions, we're not doing uh, terribly in, in terms of finances. I mean, if we have a look... Obviously, you've got to remember, we're on extreme mode where the AI has tons of extra money. So let's go, like, uh, top five factions, I'll show you. And we'll go to uh, financial ranking. You can see we, we're doing pretty well compared to them with a th basically a three-province minor. If we go to... Uh, so we go here. Go all living factions. Look, we are kind of... So let's just check where that is. So we're there. So just under 60,000. We're kind of among the best of the rest, guys. Among the best of the rest. So, uh, yeah. Let's um, make sure we do that. We're also going to recruit a ship. Because we have to. We've actually reduced the population here so much that we can only recruit one ship. Sorry, Ptolemies. <laughs> Oh, glorious, 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 glorious. Let's uh, also get this spy out. Let's just have a little look down here and see what's going on. I mean, we've got loads of more large towns along here. How many of them will have many buildings? I mean, that's actually a really nice one, Panaeus. And it has only a general in there. That would be good to take, but got to get past that army first, which I honestly don't think we can beat that on the battlefield, guys. <laughs> Not until our guys get a bit more replenishment, but... um. We now do have access to horse archers. So, um, let's just spam 10 of those in. <laughs> Spend all our money at the moment so that we know, oh, we've got a, we've got a few of those. And we also can get a few of those. So I'm going to spam five of those bad boys in too. And, uh, yeah, very nice. Very nice. Ooh, did that cancel our building of the, of the thing? Oh, I did. Maybe it was on... If it's on its first turn, that's fine. I, I'm, it shouldn't do that if it's already built. But, um... Yeah, fine. And then we're also... What are we going to build then next? I mean, we have, like, no buildings. Like... What is this? Ah! It's just cancelled that as well. That was kind of dumb. But luckily... Luckily, it only cancelled zero. It didn't cancel any more turns. Just those one turns. So, um... Yeah, that's, that's fine for now. Well, that was rather annoying. I think I did cancel some of the uh, some of the building of them by spamming those units. Um, but uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, what can we build in here now that this has actually upgraded? Let's go for, I mean, stables again, but actually we can't get anything too good from the stables. So I think it's just got to be barracks, really. Barracks for the boys. Let's go. So, Zeddy actually did get attacked in the end turn and managed to retreat into uh, that region there. So, we are just going to pop through these regions, make sure there are no mercenaries again. And there isn't, unfortunately. We'll just check this one as well, just in case. And maybe transgress against the Seleucids just to check theirs. So, let's just pop up here. Anything in there? No. I'm wondering whether to just, like, go to Antioch with the ship and see if there's anything in there as well um but yeah no <laughs> it's fine it's fine we're doing we're doing an all right job here guys we're doing an all right job so i think we're just gonna get on these ships and go very slowly and just see if there's any mercs available like in the seleucid lands i know it's going to be transgression okay that that's a mercenary but asian light spearmen not amazing. I'm not going to lie. Also, that is a big Ptolemaic army there. So, uh, yeah. Okay, no mercenaries available there. 
I think we will just stand here for a second, though. They shouldn't attack us because, um, first of all, they shouldn't be able to see us, probably. Um, yeah, and we do, because there's no mercenaries available, we'll come back and we'll attack them. We do have a few extra troops in here, some mercs that we've been able to recruit and some other units. We will have some more horse archers soon. And honestly, guys, we can fight. We can kill a lot of a lot of Ptolemaic troops with like two, three, four units of horse archers that I don't need to worry about them too much more. Tyre and Sidon have, uh, have uh, uh, rebelled now as well. So yeah, poor Ptolemies, they've got a lot of uh, rebel territory around them now, um, which is good, which is, of course, very good. So we are now besieging down Dora over here. The Ptolemies think that they can siege this down with just those three units, which... We have a unit of horse archers, so honestly, that would be so easy to uh, destroy. Um, but yeah, I think that honestly is point proven. We have two large towns now. This one, unfortunately, has dropped back down below the threshold, which is a little bit annoying. But um, two large towns. Um, we've got 30,000 in the bank and plenty more money to come if we continued raiding. So I think we've proven the point that this tactic is possible and viable. And can make you one of the richest nations in the game. Early game. If you want to. If you want to do this. But we might have a very special one to do it with. Where we'll be raiding into Greece, guys. So if you do want to see that. If you do want to see the burning down of Greece. In the game. In the game, mind you. Then please do like. 100 likes and I'll give that a go. That might be a little bit harder. But it should be very, very fun. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.